I'd like to wish you all a very happy Chinese New Year. I encourage you all to go out there and just celebrate this with the Chinese people and their culture that they've been doing for many thousands of years. And go out and try some Chinese food. Try something different. I encourage you all to try some duck feet. They are quite an interesting delicacy in the Chinese culture. Uh, but just watch out for the bones. Um, dumplings. My number one favorite thing is watching dumplings. And I love the, the lion dancing. And I have to admit, I do like the kung fu displays. You know, the Chinese culture is, is definitely one of the longest lasting or longest running cultures on our planet. Um, they've pretty much kept to themselves and they've kept their culture quite um, unique. Whereas in Australia, where I'm from, our culture ranges from going to the beach, having a barbecue and cooking some snakes and some snags or the sausages and steaks. That's just how it is in Australia. Yeah, we're, we're definitely not the, the tar, the sharpest tools in the shed, but we like to get the job done. But anyway, so yeah, I encourage you all to celebrate Chinese New Year. I have a few little decorations up. Um, so we have like uh, the Four Seasons and uh, these are some of the blessings. So, you know, we wish you uh, happiness. We wish you virtue. We wish you a long life and we wish you happy endings. Yes, we do. Of course, you know, when we want to do something, we'd like to have a happy ending. Keep that positive frame of mind going. Yes, and so, you know, it's celebrating Chinese New Year's is, is a lot about families getting together. And in China, the biggest migration of people on this planet happened during the Chinese New Year. And the whole China just shuts down for a couple of weeks. And so if you were wanting to order some products from China, you're going to have to wait. And so, you know, the whole country just shuts down um, for their, like, manufacturing and stuff. And everyone goes home and celebrates their Chinese New Year with their family. And that's a recurring theme in all people around the world is, is when you want to celebrate something, it's good to do that with friends and family. And so it's not possible all the time to... to make it home but it's important to sort of celebrate with friends and family so this is a, a happy time of the year for them where they celebrate you know it's similar to our Christmas and New Year's um, but this is just the time of the year when they celebrate it when I was growing up I kind of thought it was strange that in the western world we have our New Year's Eve and then the Chinese have a New Year's Eve on a different day but then you kind of understand the cultures of it and the way things work. So I'm going to look for some dumplings and I'm going to see if I can find some Shi Ma Wu, which is a Cantonese for black sesame dessert. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite desserts. So dumplings with some dipping sauce um, and uh, Shi Ma Wu. So I'm going to see if I can find it. Um, I've been to Hong Kong uh, a few times, and I've quite enjoyed it there. And I kind of, I, I do like the Chinese culture, and I want to visit China. I'd like to see the Great Wall and and like the Emperor's Palace and stuff like that. I I very much enjoy looking at um, kind of like antiques and and things that are really old because it it's something that you can see, not necessarily touch. But it's something that you can see and it tries and you can make it and form your own um, ideals on, on what life was like for people many years ago. And I think history 
is a great form of uh, information and it, and it helps us to sort of understand where we came from and I guess that then puts a question out there is where are the people of the world going and uh, now I'm going to ramble on a little bit so um, please forgive my rambling is you know in the past there's been a lot of separation of cultures and people and with the world as it is there's been a lot of intermingling of different uh, cultures of people around the world and Australia is definitely a, a place where a lot of different cultures have come but they have to kind of embrace the uh, the Australian way because they're they're in Australia um, and we don't really have any major conflicts but unfortunately around the world I'd just like to highlight that there's far too much conflict between different groups of people and I'd really like to put a message out there of uh, peace and and you know the people of this world we need to move forward and and kind of unite in a way where we can grow together we need to put aside hatred and anger and blame and and all of this negativity that we have around the world and and we need to try and work together to find peaceful solutions like you just think about all the people in the world it wouldn't be hard to fix problems as long as we could work together so i'd like to just uh reaffirm this message of unity with all cultures of people and uh promote peaceful interactions and just to try some of the unique chinese foods there's some quite interesting ones snake soup in hong kong damn it was really good shark fin soup really good but i don't like the process of killing so many sharks to get their fins um you know these are things that i think uh, could be changed but um turtle soup there's another unique one chicken feet quite tasty i know that i i, I kind of like a lot of chinese food it's just different for me in australia um but you know the safe and the humane processing of uh, foods is i think another important area where the world could work together to create a more sustainable future for the people of this world and I'll leave it there. So, you know, I want to give a positive message to the people of the world. I wish you all a happy Chinese New Year. Get out there and, uh, you know, listen to some firecrackers, watch the lion dancing, um, kung fu displays, and eat some Chinese delicious food. And go out there and try something different. I'll give you a story. In Hong Kong walking down Jim Jia Joy or it wasn't Jim Jia Joy it was Mong Kok or something like that and I'm told I have to go to this place and it's like a, a street food and it's called smelly tofu I think it was smelly tofu and I'm told that it, it's something that I've got to try and so okay well if it's something I've got to try it can't be that bad can it well, uh, I think this is, I think it was Mong Kok, there was like the street markets, lots of shoe shops, I'm um, thinking that's the place. And this is quite a while ago, and I'm walking down the street, and as soon as I turn a corner, I just get this whiff, and I've just gone, whoa, what's that? I said, that's a smelly tofu, and I said, uh-uh-uh, I ain't trying none of that. And it was the, it wasn't like, disgusting smell 
but it was definitely the opposite of a pleasant smell. Um, and, you know, I've smelt worse things than that before. Uh, and it, it's a food and people are eating it, so it's not, you know, bad. But I got to the street and there was people lined up for miles. Well, not that far, but, you know, like 30 metres or something like that. And I said, no. And I just went to one of the other places all around and just got something else to eat, but I couldn't bring myself to eat smelly tofu. But I did try some bugs once in Cambodia. And I'm sure that one of the meals I had in Cambodia uh, was claimed to be chicken, but I don't quite think it was chicken. I got something else over here anyway. So what I have here is, I kind of saw this, and it's like a, it's like a little decoration thingy. Um, and it's like a fish. And I kind of quite liked it. And my son quite likes looking at it. And um, I bought that as like a little bit of a decoration. Um, and I kind of quite like that. And um, yeah, uh, I do plan to go to China. I want to go to so many places around the world. Um, but yeah, get out there, eat some dumplings. If you can find some smelly tofu, try some smelly tofu. Uh, just get out there and just enjoy it.